Well, tonight we're learning that government health officials do not have enough medical test kits for Americans who may be exposed to the virus. And some are accusing the administration of giving the public mixed messages on the risks. Paula Reed tonight with more on when Americans should expect to see those tests. As President Trump left the White House today, Mr. President, when will more tests be available? He ignored Mr. questions President, about the lack of tests for the coronavirus. Vice President Mike Pence had said any American would be able to get a test, but in a visit to 3M, the top manufacturer of medical masks, he acknowledged that isn't currently the case. We don't have enough tests today uh, to meet uh, what we anticipate will be the demand going forward. Democratic Senator Patty Murray, whose state of Washington has suffered an outbreak, said she wasn't sure who to believe. I have the same questions that everybody I represent have, is what is the truth? Pence is in Washington state tonight for a briefing on the outbreak. We need an administration that is capable of not only getting uh, out what is needed in this country when it's needed, but also telling people the honest truth, and that was not happening. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar said there should be enough coronavirus tests sent out this week to cover about 400,000 people, but that is still far short of demand. That experience will get better. But do not be surprised if you hear c concerns, a doctor saying, I have a patient, I don't know how to get this done. Today, the Senate passed an $8 billion coronavirus funding package, which President Trump is expected to sign as soon as tomorrow. But that's over three times what the White House originally requested, suggesting the Trump administration did not anticipate the scope of this crisis. Nora. All right, Paula, thank you so much.